My in-laws don't treat me like family. Hi, my name is Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation and I'm going to try to help you with this not rare problem. This is a problem and a lot of people don't ask the question. They just eat it, you might say, and they live with it. And it happens on both sides, men and women. A lot of times it's a failure within your spouse's parents marriage to begin with. They don't treat each other like family. Now you got to get out of this space of woe is me and look objectively and see if that's what's really going on. In most cases, that's the problem. They don't treat each other with the love, the respect that you want to have in your family. In your family, hopefully your family is tight. A lot of love, a lot of mutual respect. You make it a point to feed into the very foundation of your marriage, which is love and happiness. And you do that on a continual basis and never take away from that with anger or criticism or any of the other killers of marriage. Hopefully you're working in your marriage in a way that it's phenomenal and you can't even believe how wonderful your marriage is. And if it's not that way, you need to read one of my books or take one of the courses so you could get your marriage like that. And that way, this other problem with the in-laws is just a little fringe problem that you have. So, once you've done that, that's first, then you take a look at their marriage and you look past the facade and you see, is there true respect? Is there true love? And if not, stay away, don't care. Just interact with them superficially as best you can, always giving them love, giving them respect and not worrying about it. Now, the other big reason is because they're defensive. They don't know how to behave in front of you. And so they're distant, cold, even mean. You can't do anything about that. You know, you treat them with love, respect, and you practice the bowling ball technique that if they throw something at you, you'd be a feather and the bowling ball comes and you're not affected by it. Don't let them get to you. You should be really whole within yourself, feeling the love of your own heart, giving them love, even when they don't give you love. So that's really it. You cannot change people. There's nothing you can or should do to try and get them to love you. On the other hand, there's everything you should do to learn how to behave respectfully and lovingly, even to those who do not love you. But where your real effort should go is into your own marriage. Don't be distracted. That's where all of the joy is in your own marriage. Make it happen. Make it fulfilling, loving as it's meant to be. A lot of people will say, well, it's pretty good. If it's pretty good, it's not working. A marriage is supposed to be off the charts happy. You didn't get married to be, well, it's pretty good. You got married to be thrilled with your marriage, thrilled with your partner. Learn how. It, you can do it. It doesn't take that much effort to learn how and change everything. And then you won't worry about them. All right, hope this was helpful. If you have further questions, you could put in the comments section. You could write to our free counseling service. You know, we're a nonprofit. Other than that, blessings to you, blessings to your spouse, blessings to your family, and blessings to your in-laws. God bless and take care.